okay, so that makes sense. I didn't even notice that ventilation shaft. Thank you to Plastic Fangs for pointing it out. You should just watch his video. Mine is of no use. I would never have thought to have done that. I knew this old bookshelf was movable for a reason, but I didn't think it was this. Um, and now it's gone. So something to keep in mind, while the nun doesn't appear in explore mode, that freaking corpse does. I just saw it run down the hallway. Like a little brat. Didn't scare me nearly as much as it did the first time. Maybe because this time it was running away instead of toward. Yeah, this is the bedroom it was in. Okay, I got it. Now we're going into this ventilation. And in this room, we finally find the wire cutters. Or clippers. Pardon me. Yes, the surgery light is bright. Did I just pop my knees? Now, when we do cut this... What do we find? Jeez, can you calm down? Oh, look at that. Trophy earned. Spelunker. It's very interesting. It's a hand. We got more, uh, rubbing it all. What's this for? The bowl is full of blood. How much can it hold? I don't know. Is that supposed to happen? Another paper clip. It says CFV. What does that mean? I wish I knew. Cable Federal Vision? Of course it is. Is there a VHS tape in here? Nope. Another rock. But I can't pick it up. Okay, so that's how we open up this door. It's good to know. And that... No lock on this side? Okay. This is the one that has the lock. Which is how you open things. Not sure why there is an eye on this channel. It's a bit odd, wouldn't you say? What kind of programming is this? What are you showing to these kids? Trying to mess up their minds? 
You gotta show the kids that good stuff. Can you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street? I was locked in punishment again. I screamed to let me go to the bathroom. I couldn't hold it in, so I pooed on the floor. Mother Apollonia found out, and I had to pick it up and rub it all over me. She showed the other kids, and everybody left. I can't stop crying. I want to climb out the window. It's too high. I can hear her coming. She's looking for me. She's saying, where are you, Janny? Staying far away from you as possible. Ooh, hammer. But I can't carry it. Can I discard this? Thankfully, yes, but unfortunately, my past self has yet to discover that. Nothing interesting in the fridge? Are you sure? Something weird about this wall. Oh, so that's what the hammer is for, I imagine. Nope. We're gonna smash this wall that's obviously hiding something. No. Yes? Figured out. Press down on the touchpad, and then press square. Well, scratch that last part, but I didn't know yet. Right, now smash it with the hammer. It's obviously not working. Moving on. Okay, so... I'm... I'm still in explore mode, trying to figure out the pattern and stuff, and... I used some kind of drainage cleaner on that sink that Shannon said had something in it, but we couldn't reach it. So I was able to dislodge it. It ended up falling through this pipe, okay? And onto the floor. Picked it up. And then I heard what sounded like the ghastly screams of a banshee child. Now, this religious painting is here, when I know for a fact it was over here. Correction. That painting was always there. I believe the painting that my past self was referring to is on the other side of this floor. Or perhaps a different floor entirely. There's still going to be some creepy things going on. And you know what? I'm not a fan. I mean, I am a fan, but I'm also not a fan. Anyway, what it ended up being was the hex key, which is the L-shaped tool that Janie was talking about. And I have three paper clips, so there's theoretically three doors I can unlock. Well, as we will soon find out, there are actually more than three paper clips in total, which doesn't necessarily mean that there are other doors to unlock. Rather, however many paper clips you have indicates how many tries you have because the unlocking process doesn't make any sense and the paper clips will break there's also noises like that what what, what is that and keep in mind i don't have jump scares turned on Trophy earned. Frustration. Uh, okay, so... How do I do this? And now I'm out of paper clips. So, I just screwed myself over. Where does this door even lead? It doesn't lead to that bedroom, does it? The one that has the slightly askew for? That's just one of the dire entries. I don't remember exactly 
which drawers had what, assuming they had anything at all. And from what I've read, that figure that I saw at the very beginning of the game, I think that was actually supposed to be the nun. But then that begs the question, who is that boy on the cover? Is that an agent of evil? One of the nun's underlings? Maybe her only underling? I also put all those body parts on the scale. Which is what you're supposed to do. I have the rubbing alcohol in a dirty bottle. <sighs> now, if there's rubbing alcohol or rubbling alcohol, what would I use that on? Think. Rubbing alcohol is usually for wounds, right? So, is this for whenever I get injured? Because if that's the case, then I can just toss it. And in order to toss items on the PlayStation version, you just need to press down on the touchpad. I didn't need to touch that square at all. Diary entry. I should probably read all those during the first legit playthrough. You know, when I have the nun on. I don't know if that does anything or not. It seems like in most video games, you need to read things so that your character has certain information, you know? It's not enough for the player to have the information. You both gotta have it. Okay, well here's another paperclip. So now let's go back downstairs. Find that locked door. And see if we can do this right. I may need to look up another walkthrough for this. Go back to that same walkthrough that I was watching. And, uh, just have him explain what I'm supposed to do. Well, for now, I don't even need to go through that door. Screwdriver's right here. Would have been nice to know that from day one. So now we can, um,. Unscrew the bolts from the ventilation shaft. It's weird. I don't remember this part of the floor at all. Ever since I unlocked those two doors via the room that... Um... Oh, well, here's the videotape. Can't carry any more items. Okay, well, first things first, let's go ahead and use a screwdriver on the vent cover. Where is that? Where is that bastard? I had unlocked uh, this door, in fact. And I unlocked the one all the way over here, which led to the other side of the building. And by doing so, I could have just gotten the screwdriver from right after that. I had no idea. I guess it's another one of my major problems is, you know, not thoroughly searching for things. I'm not going that way. That's where the barbed wire pit is. I'm avoiding that like my life depends on it. Which it does. No joke. During one playthrough, I did go to the pit of barbed wire, told myself, be careful, 
when trying to cross over the board. And what do I do immediately? Fall. Had to exit out of the game real quick so that the sounds of the nun whispering, screaming, and stabbing me in the face didn't attack my eardrums. Oh, yes. This isn't the ventilation cover I was looking for specifically, but it is a cover. So now we're just going to make ourselves another shortcut. This is another way to get inside the vents in case we need to find cover. Of course, the nun would chase us through here, but hey, you know what? That's not a problem. Point is, is that we just need to get away. We can climb up here. It's different. Another videotape. I will go ahead and watch those videotapes on this explore mode. Some of the things that we do in the game, I probably won't get the chance to do if I'm being chased by the nun. So, it's good to have the explore mode. After all, spooky things do still occur, especially when it's time to die. Man, these drawers never had anything in them. Or cabinets. You'd think a videotape would be in here, because this looks like an uh, entertainment area. Nope. Here's another um, nightstand with a mirror. You'd think all these discs would have mirrors on them, because, uh, you know, girls. Well, it is a Christian boarding school. It's very possible that the teachers don't want their students to fall into the sin of vanity, which is why so few girls have mirrors. Ooh. Fuck you if you think I'm not gonna carry anything else. I don't need the screwdriver again either. It's about time I found this thing. I just wasted a shot. As soon as I found the revolver, I would just wail on the nun. Without any remorse. Another paper clip. I haven't fired guns since I was a kid, but I should be able to hit somebody if they're close. Okay, so Shannon is only American. Considering her last name, I was thinking she was of Irish origin. Well, she likely is, and her family retained the Irish-sounding name, but have since settled in America. Oh, okay, so, uh, yeah, I unlocked the fourth floor. Somehow. What do you mean, somehow? You unlocked the door. There was another ventilation cover, though, that I could have um, uncovered. Okay, so there's a screwdriver. I want to go back into the ventilation system. And, you know, uh, take care of that. The other ventilation system is right here. Now, where's the cover? That leads to the bedroom. The top bedroom. Now, where does this lead?
the other one. Shannon, thank you. Pride goes before destruction, and hot spirit before a fall. So, don't go this way. What if I want to? It's too quiet again. Now, I am of a older mindset. I enjoy peace and quiet. I prefer peace and quiet. But you know the saying, the silence is deafening? Yeah, I don't want that. I better leave it alone. Okay, it's your choice. Mother Apollonia told me I'm not praying enough. This is the prayer I'm supposed to try. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Hide not thy face from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me. O God of my salvation, for he gives me the power to always see thee. How could you not be praying enough? Isn't Janie praying every single day? And that's what each denomination teaches, is to pray daily. Considering the things she's going through, I assume she is. Am I going to regret this? No? Okay. Climb. What? Climb? What you... What? Climb what? The wall? This seems like a very long one. Very long pathway. Oh, hello. Oh, that's another videotape that I can't carry. Brother, is this leading me somewhere? Am I even moving? Oh no. Don't say it. Oh. Trophy earned. Claustrophobia. Okay. Well, good to know that Shannon is well-rounded.